Art of War channel stop. In today's video, we're going to talk about the seizure of Scott Richter's passport, right? But before I start, I wanted to tell you that I am Commander Robinson Farinazzo, a Navy Reserve soldier, and this is the Art of War channel, a vehicle for strategic and geopolitical military analysis made by professionals. So if you're new here, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, comment, share, and don't forget to ring the bell. That way you'll know about the new releases. And if you can, help with the super sticker or super key. Well, here we go. First, let's contextualize who Scott Richter is. Scott Richter, he's a former United States Marine. He's a major, right? He served in the Marine Artillery and then as an intelligence officer. He was a weapons of mass destruction observer in Iraq and is one of the world's most prestigious international commentators on military and geopolitical affairs. We've already had the chance to interview him. I'll leave the interview here for you in the description link. So what's up? Scott Richter, he was at the New York airport already on the plane to travel to the World Economic Forum in St. Petersburg, right? The Russian Economic Forum in St. Petersburg. What's happening? The plane was leaving New York. It would go to Istanbul, Turkey. From there, he takes another plane to Russia. Then police entered the plane, took him out, took out his luggage, took him to the entrance of the airport, then released him and risked him with his passport. Well, what's going on? That's an inexplicable thing, isn't it? You take a guy like him, no problem. He's not committing a crime. He's not doing anything. Taken off the plane, arrested his passport. He asked why this was being done. The people said that they were orders from the State Department. So we notice, as I've said several times on the Hortiga Guerra channel, that the trend in the United States is to become a dictatorless dictatorship. What do I mean by that? There you'll continue voting every four years. You elect a leader, vote for a senator, vote for a representative, etc. However, your freedom will have serious restrictions. First of all, your life deteriorates year after year. They're going to use more and more of your taxes to finance wars around the world. You're not going to have security, which is getting worse, or health care, which they never really had there, right? Social services in the health sector, right? And you'll keep financing this as income is brutally concentrated and your money will be used to finance wars. And that's if you, your children and your relatives aren't called up to the draft. This is the course the United States is taking the path to a dictatorship without a dictator. There won't be that dictator, that shadowy figure in sunglasses, nothing like that. You're going to vote as usual, but your life will get worse and you could be taken by surprise even if you say something or step on someone's foot. What happened to Scott Hitler could happen to you. You're sitting on a plane thinking you're going on a trip and suddenly some police show up, remove you from the plane, seize your passport and give you no explanation like in the dictatorships that the United States is always criticizing. It's a Euro Orwellian thing, something out of 1984, but it's happening. We foresaw this. And why did we foresee this? We're seeing that America has become a patriciate, right? American power is concentrated in the hands of a few trillion dollar families and they control the entire political establishment. In other words, politics in the United States and here in Brazil, to a certain extent, are moving in that direction. It's already lost its connection to society. Its purpose of improving social relations and bringing prosperity has been lost. It exists now only as a tool for control and wealth transfer. That's all politics is there for now. So it's really unfortunate what happened to Scott Ritter. I think we need to show solidarity with him and protest on social media. And unfortunately, this confirms yet again what we've always said here on the Art of War channel, that the United States is trending towards becoming a dictatorship and will eventually collapse under its own weight. It's truly unfortunate. 